Hello and welcome to a brand new video. I'm an idiot and this is the internet. Uh, today's video is going to be slightly different than the uh, kind of videos that I've done before. Um, I I'm going to be showing off something that I've recently purchased, so that's not different. But the, the thing that I've actually purchased isn't really uh, physical media. Um specific it's more of a a collecting thing and um so that we'll, we'll start off with the we'll uh, start off the video with a question um have you ever gone on to ebay looking for something and um found it and seen that it was on an auction um and then you place a bid um and then you kind of forget about it and a few days later um, have you ever won uh, that bid? <laughs> so that happened to me. Um, I fell down a little rabbit hole of um, watching uh, certain videos um, on YouTube, and uh, kind of I don't know if it's I don't know if it's uh, FOMO because I mean it's been around for. 20 odd years so it's not really that but it's more of being reminded of nostalgia i think and and certain a feeling uh connected with that so i went on ebay and um was looking up uh certain collections uh certain box sets uh that i could buy and i, I wanted one that kind of spoke to um the nostalgia, the, the the time that I was familiar with this franchise, and um, basically I I put a bid, I put the the opening bid, the starting bid, the lowest bid on uh, on this on this item, and I left it. I forgot about it, and then four or five days later, I got an email saying congratulations, you'd won. Um, so I was kind of shocked, happy, surprised, and kind of like ooh, okay. So, um, let's, let's just show you what it is. <clears throat> I managed to win this beautiful box. <laughs> um, basically, um, I watched a couple of uh, YouTube channels uh, where they were opening up uh, Pokemon cards. Uh, I'm going to blame uh, Phil um, at Phil's Retrospective because uh, he was the first channel that um, I was uh, going through his his videos and one of his videos was he was opening up Pokemon booster packs and uh, I was watching his reaction to uh, what he got in, in the packs. And that reminded me of when I um, collected the cards. I I collected the cards when it very first came out uh, back in 98 or 99. Um, when, when the show first started um, on early mornings, uh, when the first film came out on uh, at the cinema, I, I was there. Um, I, I think I even maybe even teared up towards the end. So if you, if you've seen Pokemon the first movie, you know. Um, so yeah, I was kind of like I want I want that feeling again, uh, but I I'm only interested in the first gen. I'm only interested in the like Kanto region Pokemon, the first and second series of the show. I mean, it was kind of much like just like. It was a very temporary kind of thing, and I suppose everything is. So it, Pokemon only kind of really lasted a year, I think. Um, I don't even think I saw the the Pokemon two thousand in the cinema. I think I saw that on on DVD because um, I'd kind of moved on at that point. Um, I think all my friends did. We we collected the cards as a group, and uh, I collected uh, Water type Pokemon and Japanese cards. And then um, a few other friends collected uh, different other types. So, <clears throat> watching this video uh, made by Phil, I was kind of like, I, w I want that feeling again too. 
And um, so I, I started looking up online on YouTube and eBay um, if there was anything at the at the moment that I would speak to me as a fan of the original like 151, the original series when it first started, when it first debuted. Um, and it just so happens that in 2023, I think, um, they bought this box out. Now this is the English uh, version. There is a Japanese version, which I am also kind of maybe thinking about getting um because there are slight differences but i'm not 100 percent sure yet what i'm going to do um i'm not actually going to open this today so what i'll do is i'll show you the back and i'll also read off what it says it holds in it um there are a lot of youtube channels um dedicated to um uh trading card collecting uh playing and Pokemon in general that have unboxed this particular set and the Japanese one so I mean if you want to see that by all means go check one of those channels out um, a, a channel that I will give a shout out to is uh, I believe Pokey Rev uh, he does um, some quite good videos where he'll go through all of the collections, it, it would seem, of, of um, what the uh, Pokemon uh, company and Pokemon trading card game kind of release, where he has unboxed both the Japanese and the UK or English version. Um, so this includes, in this there, um, three 60 card decks starring Venusaur, Charizard and Blastoise. Now that's the, that's the main like big selling point um i think for the box is that there are there are reproduction cards of the original um set that was released in 98 um there are a few others that they've put in um uh, maybe because they were possibly favorites i'm not 100 percent sure and um you also get um, some new cards, uh, you get a Ho-Oh EX, a Lugia EX, and a, I, I can't even pronounce that name, Suicine EX, they make their debut, okay, um, you also get, um, uh, some damage counter cones and condition markers, you get a board as well to play the game, um, so you can play at home with friends, and I believe that there's a disclaimer card inside this that says you can't use it at official tournaments. You can't use the cards at official tournaments. Um, so it is more of playing at home or playing with friends and just a, a collector's piece. So I will just quickly show you what is on the back of this box. So yeah, it's just a lot of um, writing really and then kind of the uh you get a look of what the the board is like you get this box here which has um uh the uh, damage counters and um uh certain bits um there's also um sleeves to put the cards in um it isn't a full reproduction set of the original um card game which i was a little bit little bit sad to see um so you can currently get this box set um from amazon and you can get it from uh games website as well as ebay now um the reason why i didn't mind winning <laughs> the the auction is because this retails on games website for 399 pounds which is absolutely ridiculous. I would never in my life pay that amount of money for this. That, that, that's ridiculous. Um, on Amazon, I believe it was going for $259.99, um, which again, I think that's a lot of money um, and I wouldn't necessarily want to pay that either. Um, I did pay less than that 
winning this again i said i i i paid the the starting bid and there was i think 10 or 12 other watches that had this on their on their watch list or wish list um but nobody else bid so i ended up winning it so like i said i kind of just forgot it i just thought okay that is the maximum that i would pay for it um i'm not gonna i'll just put it on there and see what happens so yeah that's that so this is like something that i've I wasn't really going to get into, but again, I kind of, this kind of like wave of nostalgia kind of like came over me as like, this is something that I would like if I could get my hands on it. Um, in regards to like Pokemon games, um, I haven't played anything since uh, Pokemon Red and Blue when it came out on the original Game Boy. Um, I haven't played um, anything on the Game Boy Advance or uh, I haven't had a DS or a 3DS, so I haven't played anything new. Um, I did uh, get a Switch a few years ago, and I bought um, Let's Go Pikachu because it was a kind of remake of Pokemon Yellow using um, certain play mechanics for Pokemon Go. So again, it was the nostalgia that kind of brought me to that game. I'm not really interested in uh, Scarlet or Violet. I'm not interested in Sword or Shield. Um, I'm not interested in Arceus. Um, I, I can't remember what the, the next um, like versions of the games that are coming out. Is it A and Z that might be coming out? So depending on what they do with that is kind of like whether I, I maybe take a dive in on that. But um, yeah, so I'm, I'm currently thinking about getting uh, the Japanese collection as well. And if that does happen, um, I will then keep one sealed and open one and uh, display it somehow. Now... Um, the, the thing that I do know that's different that I can say here now um, about the, the decks is that the, the box design is different. Everything is in this box for the English version. Uh, the Japanese version is slightly different. You don't get this kind of like Pokemon kind of, uh, Pokeball kind of design on the front. It, it's all black with just that, that kind of... Um, it's going to be upside down now, but that that Pokemon ball design is kind of in the center of the um, the uh, the box, as well as um, the Pokemon trading card game classic written on the opposite side of the board of the box. You don't get like a contents like you do here, um, and I believe the box is slightly smaller because um, all of the kind of like card contents. Um, actually come in two separate boxes. Um, in regards to the cards, that's probably the biggest difference, other than the size of the box and that being different. The Every single card in this collection is a holographic. Um, so it's not just a, uh, an official reproduction of uh, like Charizard, Venusaur and Blastoise. They're also the holographic versions of those cards. And every card is a holographic version of those reproduction cards. Um, so everything's holographic. Um, the Japanese one has holographic borders, which look nice and is probably... The look of the cards is the whole reason why I'm debating on getting a, a the Japanese version as well. Because I'm not sure which one I would want to open and display. That's a, that's a decision that I'm going to need to make at some point. Um, but the the English ones have the uh, traditional yellow border, whereas the borders on the uh, Japanese ones, as I said, are holographic. So, like I said, it's a slightly different video than um, what I've done before because I don't, collect cards um i don't i mean this isn't really media this is just a, a more of a collecting 
collectors type video um but i wanted to share it with you because there might be some card collectors out there that also kind of watch the channel because of the whole physical media thing um so yeah if i do in the coming months get the japanese one i will do a follow-up video to this um where maybe even now um once i put this video out if people in the comments uh could maybe give me their opinion on whether i should open a japanese or english box and what they think i should do obviously if i if i open up the english one i can read the cards so i could potentially play them that's obviously a big thing but then if i like the look of the japanese cards more i can actually look at them and appreciate them more if i put them in a binder or something or eventually you know well if I was going to play the game, then I would need to be able to read the cards. Unless I knew, knew already what they said. So yeah, this is just a, a quick video on um, a recent um, kind of like uh, off-the-cuff um, purchase. Uh, uh, random purchase that I made. Now, I wanted to share with you. Um, so yes, uh, let me know down in the comments below. Um, what you think I should do. Should I open it? Should I keep it closed? Um, and yeah, I hope you all have a lovely day. Bye.